crypto market update now this is my map for btc price action which dates back to 2009 here now i'm not in the best of health so just bear with me as i make this video let's just jump right to the point uh right here this is bitcoin on the monthly time frame and as we can observe from this chart each time btc closes a monthly candle above this descending the downward sloping trend line right here it marks the end of the bear market we can see it happening here in 2012 this marked the end of the bear market we can also come here to 2015 this right here marked the end of the bear market we can also come right here to 2019 and this also marked the end of the bear market these are these are facts it's it's not like it's what we want or it's what uh, we imagine no it's just it's right in front of us yeah so we are just fact checkers here we just look at the facts that's what we do so if you're new to this page that's all we do we don't go for what we want or what we like we just observe the facts in the charts and according to the chart right now btc has not yet closed a monthly candle above the descending or say the downward sloping trend line now does that mean that it's just gonna plummet from here because i know there are a lot of people who'd rather buy cheap and that's what i would rather do too but we have to stay objective about the charts we should not let emotions come in the way right here we are actually observing a morning star candlestick pattern this morning star is indicating to us trying to tell us that price action is trying to reverse the sustained period of price decrease right here aka the bear market so if that is what price is trying to tell us which it is indeed telling us here we must go with that remember as i've been saying in the other videos the 3k and 7k price targets come from up here so if you want to wait which is a very bad idea it will mean that you'll be waiting for about a 70 percent price increase to know if your uh, targets to the downside will get invalidated so we must work with the price action we see in the moment knowing that we might as well still go to those levels so i am dcaing into my altcoins accordingly but i reserve fiat for a crash scenario 